I want to quote a letter written by a doctor in the medical newspaper The Lancet in the middle of the 19th century, a half century after Jenner's discovery of the cowpox vaccine. London at the time was in the grip of a minor smallpox epidemic, and this doctor posed a rhetorical question. He asked, just hypothetically, what if five children every day were being drowned in the River Thames? What would we do to stop this problem? Well, we'd use the power of the law, wouldn't we, to protect these children? So why not use the power of the law to force parents to vaccinate their children? Nowadays, we're used to the government passing laws for the public good. Laws controlling how fast we drive on the roads. Laws banning smoking in public places. We grumble, but it's a necessary part of living in a civil society. The greater good overrules the freedom of the individual to do as we choose. Back then, that simple idea was really controversial. And when, in 1853, Parliament passed a law forcing parents to vaccinate their newborn children, this was quite unprecedented, quite unheard of. What right had government to tell us what we should or should not do with our bodies? What right had government to make medical decisions on behalf of our newborn children? And a wave of public protest swept the country. Anti-vaccination societies sprang up, resisting government attempts to cut and poison their babies. People risked fines and imprisonment. If they couldn't pay, their goods were sold at public auction. And a new phrase entered the language, the conscientious objector, first applied not to pacifists in the First World War, but to parents who opposed the Vaccination Acts. We've had a recent experience of this kind of backlash against vaccinations. Ten years ago, a campaign began urging parents to resist government pressure to vaccinate kids with MMR, measles, mumps and rubella. In the decade that followed, cases of measles in this country rose from 80 to over a thousand a year. Public health versus public protest. And in the backlash against vaccination, disease spreads. Except back then, the disease was fatal. And every day that we failed to bring smallpox under control, children continued to die. <laughs>